Hi guys, Derek here. Do a little bit of trapping today. Super bright out, so I'm really squinting in the sun here. But I'm on the on a river that has a creek flowing into it, you can see. We're gonna go trap some beaver today and uh, hopefully get some. Basically when you're creek trapping for beaver, you wanna find out where they're, they're living and where their feed bed is. You can see the old dam there. That's washed through. There's no fresh sign of any beaver from last fall at all. So I don't think they're living in there. This is their main beaver dam here. And you can kind of see how it's pooled up. This is normally never this full. And this is probably their main feed bed. They've got a bunch of sticks in there buried and they eat it all winter. So somewhere around here, they're able to swim around and get to the feed bed. I just gotta find out where they're denning. It's just the beginning of March here. And it's actually open water underneath there. Still well below zero, freezing. And you actually see this pretty active beaver um, chippings off from what they've been eating. So they've actually been coming up here already, at least for a portion of this winter. This is where I'll probably try to focus on the traps I set. Okay, so I found the beaver dam again here. I've used my tap there and I've tried to find the hollow sound of where the beavers are using their runs. Often the beavers will go and check the dam to make sure it's all good throughout the winter. And right where the stick is there, those two sticks, is kind of where they're coming in and out of the, the dam, it feels like. So I'm going to decide to use my brew strength, I guess, and dig some holes. Usually you use chainsaw, but uh, I don't have any on me right now, so I'm going to have to use my youth. Alright, so I got going here, after all the digging. A little bit deeper than I was <laughs> hoping it would be for ice. You can see the, the dam still here. So basically I got a stick across there, I got a 30-30 that I'm going to drop down the hole, wire it up, and I'll be baiting with some fresh poplar. Now we just kind of trimmed off a branch. So what I did is with my, my tapping stick, measured how deep it was, put it down, and how high I, I want the trap. And basically you can put it, you can roll the log to how about higher. So basically I try to put it low as possible and then you kind of raise it up as you feel necessary. So I'll drop this in and hopefully it, uh, next time you see the video it's, there's a beaver in it. Alright, so I'm at a different spot. You can see the beaver damage here. Taking down huge trees. And they're eating the wood there and trying to split up in pieces so they can haul away. Those are huge trees to take down. See here, they're actually stripping the bark here and eating it. But this whole little valley here used to be as full as that back there. So it's like the beaver has been working his way around, taking all this stumps over here. This is the size of the creek that I've been walking along, so it's small. And then you can see the beaver dam. And it goes all the way along. That side. And this whole little valley is now flooded. Which is why we saw those trees down earlier. So the goal now is to find the feed bed, find the lodge, hopefully chop them out. I've been trying to find the beaver run coming out of the, the home here. Because this is I'm on top of the whole flood area here. So basically, look in there. A little bit of a feed pile here. Look in here. Both of them are shallow, so it's not there. The dam is back there. Then come to this side, and it's either going to be there or here. And I kind of got lucky because here is where it appears to be coming out. Come out, swim through here, and get out into the open, the rest of the creek there. And it was kind of melted here. Usually, it's where the beavers come out. It's a little thinner ice. You can kind of tell that here, and when I was digging it here, it was a lot easier with my little pickaxe and axe, so my arms are shot. <laughs> this will be a double cunny bear. Alright, so after all the rest of the chopping, opening up a little bit more, I got the double in there. Probably can't see it, but I could, yeah, I just barely see the baited on that one, and this one's a little bit deeper. Kind of get them at different levels. That way if they get caught, they, try, they won't interact with the other trap, and I can hopefully get a double still. All right, that's it for today. I guess we'll have to uh, wait and see if we get one later.
Welcome back. We're here a couple days later checking the traps that we set the other day. You can see there's a lot more snow down now. We had a big dump a couple, for a couple days. And you can also see that the creek we've been trapping is flooded. The water has actually risen out of the holes and it's going on top of the ice, which is causing a lot of flood water and sucks for us for, for walking. If you actually see where we set the trap, our bait stick is floating in the hole that we chopped. That's promising because if a beaver hit it under the water, the, the bait stick will float up, which is a good, good sign for us. So you can see here, that is the bait stick. That's really positive. Can you see anything down there? Well, it's, really. it's pretty dark. It's actually pretty safe here. Yeah, there's not much water there. And I, you can see both springs now, so it's it's a f it's flat on the bottom, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Or it's like it's closed on something. I don't think there's a view there. I think it'll be a lot heavier. I don't know. I don't know. Start pulling. They're hacking me. Pull what? This is the chain one. This is the other spring one. Sorry, I want to drop that one down again. Sorry? What you put? <sighs> that spring set off? Yeah, for sure it is. Yeah, it is. It, uh, I don't think it's closed on anything though. I need to get, I'm going to hook it out. Get the wedge it with your, your yeah. stabber. Oh, I should have cut this bigger. The hole. <laughs> I thought that was too much. So. Oh. There we go. Oh! <laughs> that is sweet! Holy well God. done! Well, we got a beaver. That's pretty exciting. That's only about three feet of water. That's a really good catch too, just behind the front shoulders. <laughs> <That'll do it. laughs> oh, we got some skin to do. That's a good beaver. Uh, I'm off in the snow. That's one for today. There goes the bait stick. The second beaver dam, the one we said the double economy bear at. So you can see here there's been lots of snow as well since our last check. There's a little bit of bubbles where it's frozen over, so that's promising as well. There might be a beaver swimming by it, and then the, the air comes off with their fur and they swim out of the dam.
nothing on that one. Nothing on this one. 